uh, I guess I'll kick things off quickly um, because this will be my last third part of your meeting for any of you that haven't been paying attention on the forums or elsewhere uh, I am retiring at the end of next week uh, after what is truly a spectacularly great job and uh, I want to say that working with the third party viewer community has been uh, I mean it was how this started for me and uh, it has been a theme throughout and uh, it has been a gr very great pleasure working with all of you it's it's really been terrific and thank you thank you for making me look good and uh, thank you for all you contribute to this really uh, impactful and and fun product uh, it's it's even more fun to work on than it is to use <laughs> yes uh, the missus certainly has a, a large list for me anyway I'll, I'll turn the meeting over to veer here to talk about viewers all righty uh well let's see we had a viewer promotion this week the jelly doll viewer is out there um that has simplified rendering of jelly dolls and uh mostly for performance reasons um also they're just a little less conspicuous since it's not usually the thing you want to be calling attention to the most um so let us know how that all goes. Um, if you are looking for updates, you should get that one pushed out uh, automatically. Um, we have, I think, three RCs in the queue right now. Um, there's the key mappings customization viewer and uh, uh, let me render number five, which is. Um, graphics fixes and the uh, the VFS cache replacement viewer um, so those are all uh, I think in pretty decent shape so I think any of them could be the next promotion um, we'll just see how things are going with crash rates and all that good stuff um, there will be a new mate viewer coming along pretty soon too uh, but uh, we don't have a mate in MC uh, right now and yeah, I guess that's uh, that's about it for for news for us. How are things going on the uh, development front for you guys? Blocked avatars. I think our blocked avatars are invisible, aren't they? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you'd want to try to make those uh, visually distinct somehow. I think we have jelly dolls with two different shades of gray, depending on whether they're like intentionally marked as never render versus just being above the complexity threshold. I'm not sure that there's a lot of point to that, but anyway, I think it's in there right now.
Yes, the solution to every problem is more config options. So what's the uh, Firestorm release cycle looking like? When are you thinking the next year may be coming out there? Yeah, I think uh, predictable release schedules are, are definitely the way to go if possible. We have kind of mixed results on that one ourselves.
Yeah, we probably need to look at our active viewer list. I haven't uh, haven't axed the old ones for a while. Near term for rendering, we're going to be seeing you know, continued work on bug fixes, and we're going to be seeing the uh, UI refactoring project where we're trying to get the uh, you know, UI rendering going at its own speed rather than having it synced with the, um, the 3D rendering, um, which should also give us some performance improvements. Um, Beyond that, there's uh, there's still a lot of active discussion going around about priorities for the year. Um, one area we're likely to be working on is uh, improving experience for for folks who are you know new to the platform or who have uh, you know less powerful systems. So I'm expecting we're going to be spending some time working on performance improvements, but uh, we have you know several other proposed projects in the uh, in the collection uh, states too. So beyond that, it's a uh, it's how far out is is which one for RC? The UI work? Uh, not very close. That that isn't even out as a um, project viewer yet, still under development, so it's really too early to say.
2004. Uh, not really. I, you know, I th we have a lot of people who are running on hardware that's pretty old. I don't think we have a huge percentage that are going quite that far back. And since it's CEF that has the SSC3 dependency, all that would mean is that media wouldn't work for them. which on a system that old is unlikely to be the only thing that doesn't work for them. Yeah, one would think. I think very few systems that old would even have enough RAM to be able to do much of anything. Yeah, well, that's true. We don't support Windows 7 anymore, so are there any pre-2004 machines that can even run Windows 8 and beyond?
I'm actually not sure how third-party viewers handle CEF. Do you use our builds or do you do your own builds? We are looking at doing a CEF update fairly soon. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I know the CEF builds can get pretty hairy. PDBs. I'm not sure if we have any mechanism for distributing those. We we upload them to Bugsplat for crash reporting. But I'm not sure if we have any other thing that we do with them. Uh, I don't, I don't know if we could make them available, certainly not for everything, because there are some closed source components in there. Yeah, any, uh, any libraries aren't actually part of our own code base. It would depend. And the, the ones for the rel with deb info builds would be slightly different. It's, it's not true that those are, that those are completely identical to the release builds. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I'm not even sure if we're producing PDBs for, um, you know, external libraries. Um, we, you know, we build them for our own, for our own stuff. And I'll ask around though, I'll see what the story is on that right now. I, I don't think we currently put the symbol files in the in the artifacts in the code ticket artifacts 
I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, if it's something that we're that we are producing and that we would have the rights to redistribute, it would probably be possible to add it to the artifacts. Um, but uh, I'm not sure what percentage of uh, libraries that would actually apply to. Code ticket's not public, though. Extra memory, yeah, we we still have that in the in the queue, but uh, nothing nothing recent there. The original premise was, oh, we just need to change a change a number and everything will be fine. But it sounds like the the uh, stats we're using for texture memory, you know, even internally, are are misleading and don't represent what's actually happening in the viewer. So, trying to have better control of that is uh, the trickier problem that we need to spend more time looking at. Yeah, I don't know how useful Code Ticket would be as a as an open source project. I mean, it's pretty tightly integrated with various internal tools we have for, you know, Team City for builds and that kind of thing. Um, so it's, uh, you know, if you if you sort of detach it from from all of those dependencies, I'm not sure how much you have left.
Uh, we've been using voice, but uh, we're typing right now. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, I got you. Hey, Jessica. For, so, for some reason, recently, it has been taking a little longer to connect than normal. I, I'm, I really don't know why. Do the TPVs use the same logic that we do for accounting for texture memory, or is it uh, variable there too? Yeah, my recollection is that when we discussed this with Dave P, he was saying that even our calculations for how much VRAM we're using weren't entirely consistent and uh, added an extra complexity factor to trying to manage it.
you could have told me, do you remember any more about this? I, I'm, I'm hazy on the details, but I know it's come up in our previous graphics uh, bug discussions. I had briefly looked at it, uh, but I didn't realize there was a couple settings that control that, so the test I did was flawed. Uh, and then we do have a Jira, which I don't have handy, but uh, and I was looking through that, but I didn't see the details for why that got reverted though, unfortunately. Yeah, I agree. You want to keep it as a UI setting so that way it's visible. Seems like the usual situation we get into is that the, uh, you know, vendors will lie about the state of their cards, and so then if you depend on the information they're giving you, it's you can get in trouble. But then how do you allow people to control and override that in a way that makes any kind of intuitive sense? <laughs>
Yeah, if we could just do the right thing without exposing it to uh, user control at all, at least by default, that would be a lot better. Yeah, games get around that problem by just setting a minimum requirement. It's like, hey, you need a, this cheap graphics card, and it's got so many gigabytes of RAM, and, and you're done, and if you got <laughs> more, then it'll use it, so. Yeah, they'll just say, you want to run on a what? That might be another option to consider, too, is just for the quality settings. Maybe the quality determines the VRAM usage that's allowed. And uh, if you try setting, a, like I said, ultra quality, which is just like maybe 8 gigs or 12 gigs, and you don't have that, and then that's not an option then, too. So I don't think there's really a solution for this. Yeah, that's the internal class. One, two, three, four, five for hardware behind the scenes.
But how how is turning off ALM supposed to help with texture fetch overhead? Oh oh materials, okay. Well, that's a lot to give up. I was thinking of it as just uh kind of fancy shaders, shadows and stuff. All right, well, I guess we're about at time here. I uh, should probably wrap it up. Uh, just before we wrap it up, uh, Oz, are you still here? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So uh, Oz and I go way back. Um, and uh, since this is like my last third-party viewer with Oz, and a lot of people here probably weren't even around during that time, when Oz, when you got hired, what was your job title? You were liaison, or was it something else? And you got suckered into li Dir liaison. Director of open source development. No, I was actually specifically hired for for helping the lab out figure out how to get open source. To that's work. right. That's right. So, I, and I at was the time, in theory, I was in theory also responsible for all the maintenance on the viewer, but. Uh, then there was the big layoff that happened right after I was hired, and they shed that part of my job because that's right. And um, so Oz came into this mess right at the time that Emerald was exploding, wasn't it? Uh, I was involved in exploding in Emerald, yes, uh, very shortly <laughs> after I started. So that was like that was like Oz's introduction to uh, Second Life, and and I'm pretty sure, and and I'm sure it can't be confirmed, but I'm pretty sure Emerald. Oh gosh, there's people here who don't remember Emerald. I don't just be glad that you don't remember know about Emerald. Um, 
<clears throat> anyway, at that time, it was, uh, I think, pretty likely that Linen Lab was on the verge of banning like all open source third party viewers because of the stuff that was going on with some of the Emerald devs. And um, I remember Oz pulling me and Fox and Jay Cool and <clears throat> who else? Skills, Discreet, uh, up to your little cloud. And oh my god, did you ever blast them <laughs> on voice? And they tried to troll you, and you were having no part of that shit. Um, anyway, uh, good times. Your, um, your, memory is, your memory is more detailed than mine. Is it? Yeah, I, re <laughs> I remember some of those days. I, I, uh, well, I, do know... I, couldn't have, I couldn't have come up with a list of names. <laughs> I do know that if it wasn't for your efforts at that time um and it was around that time then that they all got banned um and i decided to fork emerald into phoenix and oz you helped support that and you helped uh convince linen lab to give open source a second chance um and i firmly believe that if it weren't for those efforts from you uh there would be no Firestorm or Singularity or Cool VL. There would be no third-party viewers at this point. And so, uh, although you may want your legacy to be, you know, EAP or, or um, you know, Uplift or, or whatever, I to me, your legacy is that open source is still alive and well in Second Life. And for that, I thank you. Well, you know, that's... That's what I came here to accomplish in the first place, so that means a lot to me. Thank you very you, much. You have done so. <laughs> and we're going to miss you. You better stay in touch. I will, I, will, I will miss every part of my involvement with the lab and with Second Life. Uh, if I come back, it will be on stealth alts, and you'll never know it was me if I can help <laughs> it. Um, but... <laughs> Uh, but, uh, but thank you. It has been just an unbelievably rewarding experience and an enormous amount of fun. Uh, and now it's time to go do other things. Uh, and, and none of them that I'll get paid for. That's the way it goes. <laughs> not, not with, not with money anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Happy retirement. You've earned thank it. Thank you very much. Thank you and you'll, you'll definitely be missed here, so. So, Oz, before you go, I'd like to give you a little parting gift. Uh, something that was given to me by the great Wordly Fizzle a number of years ago. And, uh, I still can't figure out how she did it. Enjoy. That looks like somewhere I should go very quiet to res. <laughs> no, 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 no. But it, it, it's uh, it's intrigued me for a number of years. Well, I'll check it out. I, I have to... you, you don't worry. If it isn't broken, she'll find she just doesn't have enough time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, I have. I have bears for anybody who wants them. Where did they go? Where did it go? It is the same bear I have always had. So if you've gotten it before, you. It's. Uh, where did the silly thing go? There it is. I also distinctly remember when Oz was new and I kept bugging you to do a bear and you wanted to do something special with your bear and you wanted to animate it. And you and I sat down and I tried to show you Oh gosh, I don't even remember the LSL function now. 
is horribly laggy. I hope you replaced it. Probably. There, yeah, that's that looks like it's. Yeah, it's still animated. Would that, would that have been back in the time when the when the London viewer had make joints as an option? Oh, I gotta turn you down, Jody. I don't know why you're so loud. Most people complain it's exactly the opposite, but I'm too quiet. And nearby voice is not populating names for me. I better file a support ticket. Thanks, Oz. That's my, uh, my first ever London Bear. I've been here 13 years now. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm off. Take care, Oz. Okay, I'm off too. Best of luck to you. Uh, is Naran here? If Naran's here, someone tell Naran I love him. Just to mess him up. Bye, Jess. Uh, I don't see him here. Last time yeah, uh, no, no, Ann. Yeah, I didn't see I him. Wanted to, he wasn't here last time. I wanted to troll him. Oh, well. Okay, I gotta go.